good morning students today let's start our another topic that is important members of solar system so first i am discussing with you asteroids asteroids is a very big rocky bodies which is revolving around the sun in orbit between mars and jupiter so its orbit is known as asteroid belt this asteroid the largest asteroid is, name is ceres it is also known as minor planet because it is having a natural satellite as moon so that's why it is known as minor planet next you come comet comet is a celestial body which is revolving around the sun and its distance is very far away from the sun after 76 years it comes near to the sun and when it comes near to the sun the gases the smokes the dust starts melting and it appears to be like it has a head and a tail is coming out so sometimes it is also known as puchal tara wo tara jiska pooch ho it is having a tail so this name is given by our scientist that is helis so name is helis comet it appears after 76 years ne next you come meteors meteors are the rocky particles which does not able to join any of the planet during the formation of solar system so it is moving anywhere in the space as it comes near to the earth atmosphere then what happens it due to friction it starts burning with a streak of light that is known as shooting star tutta hua tara so that is shooting star the part which is unburnt and falls on the surface of the earth that is known as meteorites and it causes a huge damage if it is falling on the surface of earth next you come stars stars we know it is a luminous body and it is giving light to us and that light is due to the presence of gases this star seems to be a tiny dots because it is very far away from our earth it has a life span it takes birth grow younger and finally it dies out so when it dies out either in the form of dwarf star or in the form of neutron star then you will think that why it dies off because whatever the hydrogen atom present inside it when it completely burns off finally it dies out next it moves appears it appears to move from east to west because earth is moving from west to east and one thing stars appear stationary as it lies on the imaginary axis of rotation of the earth and that star is known as pole star it is used to indicate the pole of the earth that is north pole and south pole next come constellation constellation is nothing but a group of star giving us some recognizable pattern so you see here i am showing you one is ursa major and it is seven bright star if you will join this seven bright star you will see that it is just like a spoon or a ladder one ladder it is having and deeper either we say big deeper next is ursa minor this is lagu saptarishi as this is great bear then you come orion orion is just seems to be it is also known as hunters it has two prominent star and again three and uh, and again at last three if you will join all this thing it appears to be a man which is in the form of hunter next to come cassiopeia cassiopeia is a star which is seems to be a distorted letter of w or m and last topic are let us finish it artificial satellite so the satellite man made satellite which is revolving around the axis of the earth that is known as artificial satellite first artificial satellite was indian satellite was given by aryabhatta and then a number of satellite india has launched for uh, example you can say insat 1a 1b 
वन सीरीज इन सेट टू सीरीज कल्पना आई आर एस वेरी डिफरेंट रोहिणी ऑल दैट आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट यूजेज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट वेरी सिंपली वी आर सींग आर टी वी वी आर यूजिंग फोन फॉर टेलीकम्युनिकेशन फॉर फैक्ट्स दिस वी आर यूजिंग आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट फॉर वेदर फोरकास्टिंग द आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट इज बींग यूज for remote sensing area where the people are not going and from that places what is what type of land is there if anything is coming out from there that artificial satellite gives us uh, warning of that or news of that information of that for remote sensing areas and then different this telecommunication works we are doing from artificial satellite okay